Hello everyone, so for today's video I'm going to be talking you through my favourite revision websites and YouTube channels that I used when I was revising for my GCSEs. I know I really could have done with a video like this and I never really found one um, that I could relate to. So today I'm going to be talking through my favourite websites and YouTubers and things like that for maths, English and science. Obviously there were a lot of other people out there who did um, videos for like languages, history, geography, etc. But I mainly just used revision websites and stuff like that for maths, English and science and kind of stuck to my textbooks for geography, history, French and media. So that's what I'm going to be doing for you today. I've also got a really special guest who's filmed a little video for this one as well and obviously you're going to hear some very familiar names and websites as well throughout this video. None of this is sponsored at all but I do have a discount code that you can use but I'll get onto that within the video a little bit later on. But without further ado I'm going to talk you through my favourite websites and people who I used for GCSE revision. Okay so I'm going to start off with maths. So maths is obviously a very complex subject. Um, a lot of people don't really know how to revise for maths and personally for me the best thing that worked for me was just practice whether that was questions, papers, literally just going through the simplest of things and just kept doing them like that worked so well for me. One of my favourite websites for that was Mathed Up. Um, I'm not sure how many people had heard of that because Basically, I didn't have Hegarty Maths, which I know was such a popular thing, and obviously your school had to have it. Since then, my school has bought it, um, but at the time, I didn't have Hegarty Maths, so I just had to use like other websites, and one of them was Mathed Up, and I'll put all the links down below anyway. But basically, this website is literally just full of loads of practice questions and the exam style as well which is really useful because sometimes I found that when I was doing a lot of practice um, then when you're trying to apply something to an exam context it wasn't quite the same so this is a really useful website it's obviously quite updated in terms of like the new spec obviously when I was doing that I was doing the second year for the new math spec and this site is really up to date it's really useful it's free you don't even sign up you literally just download as you go and yeah, that was one of my favourite websites to use for maths. Another website I really liked was a Mr. Barton Maths. I'm pretty sure that's what it was called. But basically, again, very similar concept. Just had loads of practice questions and some papers and things like that. Just things that I could really go back through and learn. Another couple of websites which I loved were Corbett Maths and also... Um, Maths Genie, again they're very similar, it's all about just practice and loads of the websites I use literally were just full of practice papers and you couldn't go wrong with them. I also did go on my exam board, I was on Edexcel and I went on their website and again they had past papers which you could do and to be honest with you, even on the new spec you can do old spec papers. I did so many old spec papers going back to 2002 to about 2016, loads of those, and then I did loads of other um, mock papers and things like that made for the new spec. I remember Edexcel released like 36 practice papers and I went and did all of those. And you will tell, if you're doing a lot of new spec questions, they seem to repeat themselves. Like, there were questions that I practiced at home which came up in the exam just with different numbers and stuff. So if you really get into the habit of just practicing and looking at your spec and the things that they frequently ask, you're pretty sorted for the exam as you'll see something and you'll recognize it instantly. The website which I used it was called On Maths. Now this was only something that I really discovered um, when I was in year 11 about Easter time doing mocks and it's called On Maths and basically it's actually got like practice papers online and you do it online. Obviously they're not official, they're not like made by the exam board or anything, but they've got different difficulty levels and they're like predicted papers. And I remember doing this and I found it so useful because you can go and do the paper, but there's also a YouTube video which explains exactly how to do the question. So let's say you're doing a question and you're right near the end of the paper and you've had an attempt yourself but you've got it wrong, you can actually go and watch the video and I will talk it through. I will warn you now, the video is obviously like standard and the papers are different each time, like in terms of numbers. So it's really useful for you to see someone else doing it and then you can apply it to the question that you've been given. So definitely go check that out. You do make an account, it's absolutely free. I found it was just really useful because it also 
gave me a rough idea of what my weaknesses were, what my strengths were, and it did give you a grade at the end. Obviously don't take the grade to heart, I mean there were times when I was getting a grade 9, there were times when I was getting a grade 6 on those things, but it literally just depends on the kind of paper they gave you. But it's just a really good idea to show you like how many marks you've got, and I think it was based on like previous grade boundaries or something that they'd like worked as some average. But yeah, on maths, really useful for just doing an online practice paper. You can do it in time conditions, which is another really cool thing. The only difference is, obviously it's on a computer, so things like when it's asking you to draw stuff, um, it's a little bit different on the computer to obviously doing it on your own, but you can again just go back and practice those things. Okay, so moving on to English. I will be honest with you, I didn't really use many online resources, um, things like videos or websites for English. One website I did use was Seneca Learning, and that was literally just going for things like context and um, more like the AO3 stuff, you know, like the context that you had to know. I used Seneca for that. And then in terms of YouTubers, I actually watched a lot of Mr. Bruff. Obviously, he was like the go-to guy for English. I watched a load of his videos on Romeo and Juliet and Jekyll and Hyde. I also did the Love and Relationships anthology, so I did watch a lot of his videos for poetry um, because I loved the CGP textbook for that, but just for anything extra, I watched that. And yeah, Mr. Bruff is obviously the go-to guy for that online. Watch his YouTube videos. They are brilliant. However... I wish I had known about this site when I was doing my English GCC, but it is called Mr. H Online. And basically, he's got a load of English um, literature and language revision resources on there, quizzes, everything like that is on there. You can also purchase textbooks, which are absolutely brilliant. Like, they're so in-depth and so designed for your specific text. I do have a 20% off code for you, which is SphereX20. And Martin, who is the guy who runs the site, um, he's going to explain how it all works for you now. Hello, I'm Mr H and I'd like to take a little walk through my website. This is the home page, I'll let you look through the home page yourself. I'll just point you towards the uh, sign up here for your my free weekly emails packed with study ideas, re information, revision tips. As we get closer to the exams, uh, this will probably become more frequent than weekly. But the key thing here is your login. So let me uh, click you through the login. I'm going to use a friend's login, there we go, um, and here we have <clears throat> the dashboard. Okay, so literature texts I've got covered in great detail at the moment are Macbeth, Romeo and Juliet, The Christmas Carol, Jekyll and Hyde and Inspect Calls, plus poetry, AQA, Baron Conflict, AQA Love Relationships, ZXL Conflict, OCR Conflict and Unseen Poetry. There's a language area as well, and... <clears throat> um, you can contact me here and let me know if you want me to cover anything in particular. Um, let's have a look at the inspector calls um, area. So these are a series of videos, uh, 10, 12 minutes in length, where um, I'll play one. Nice back in house tunes. Um, this one's inspector calls just on the character of inspector girl and there I am. You can make it big screen if you wish. Uh, you can look at it on your mobiles, You're probably doing that already. Um, themes, extras and exam questions. I've got um, other exam questions already filmed, just got to upload them. And along the side, we've got revision tasks, I'll look at that in a second, but we've got these quizzes here. So if you look at quotations quiz, for example, that'll open up in a new window. Uh, spectacles, um, community and all that nonsense. Who says this? Go on quickly, who says this? Right, Mr. Burling, I'm right. Mr. Burling, it reflects, and there's a little explanation reflects his capital attitudes towards work and looking out for others' well-being. He represents the attitude that Priestley wished to challenge and change in 1940s post-war Britain. Okay, um, back to your dashboard. You've got other quizzes there. I'm uploading quizzes and videos every week. And again, if you contact me, you can um, let me know which topics you'd like me to cover if they're not already on the website, and I'll do that. Have a look at the revision section again this will all be populated over the next couple of weeks quotations um little revision tasks here that you can do Ex explain the following quotations who speaks them to whom or what about link to, link to other characters themes etc so who says community all that nonsense well it's mr burling and what themes can we link it to well um his cap selfish capitalist views versus priestly socialist views etc um synopsis there okay so Lots of revision ideas along with um, practicing exam style questions, obviously. 
and there's your dashboard. I think that that's everything. Oh, PowerPoints. All my videos uh, come with the PowerPoint that can be uh, downloaded, printed, or just saved to your desktop for future reference. I think that's it. Um, that's a quick run through. Hopefully you've seen um, plenty there for you to uh, decide you could do with signing up and I'll see you in the membership area at some point in the future. Um, if not, either way, happy studying and the best of luck in the exams in the summer. Okay, bye now. I really hope that kind of um, video is really useful for you guys. Also, next Saturday, this video is going to be how to revise English language and literature. It's going to be nearly a half an hour long video, and it, most of it is Martin explaining um, how to revise for it. He's answered a load of your questions based on the text, and a poetry video will be coming at some point as well, so I'll upload that here. And I'm going to put this all into a playlist for you as well, so you can find it when you need to. But yeah, I really hope... Um, his website is of some use to you and you know have a look around see what you can obviously some of it's free some of it's paid in terms of the textbooks but you've got your 20% off code which I think is going to be really really beneficial. Now the final subject I'm going to be talking to you guys about today is science and honestly science was probably one of the hardest subjects I found to revise for it took me a very very long time to find a revision method that worked for me I remember the whole of year 10 obviously I like made revision resources and by the beginning of year 11 I binned all those year 10 resources and I literally went and started again from scratch so in terms of websites the first website I used was Seneca Learning Seneca was obviously very popular it was very new but it was one of the best things I ever could have used for science because it literally tested my knowledge so much and because I wasn't writing anything down it was literally like just trying to make me remember stuff. I still use Seneca now for A level for things like geography but for science GCSE Seneca is like your go to thing whether it's for initial revision, last minute revision, anything and I just feel like with Seneca you don't have to make notes from there you know you can literally just sit there and do it and it's amazing how much you retain. I did use a lot of YouTubers and videos for science because it was just one of those things that having someone explain it to you is really really useful. My school science department for years wasn't that great. It was very up and down. I think in year nine I had about six different teachers throughout the year. In terms of YouTubers, my first YouTuber that I went to was Primrose Kitten. Honestly, she is the go-to for science. Um, I actually did work on a video with her a while ago when I was back doing my GCSE, so I will leave that down below. Um, she filmed a video for my channel all about um, exam stress and how to deal with that but I definitely would recommend Primrose Kitten's channel her videos are so so in depth and they just explain everything so well and I also used her like revision guide because um, I had so many questions in it and it was just brilliant obviously she's really good for maths as well but like science was the best thing ever she explained everything so clearly and I also went and did all of the quick five quest questions and I put nearly all of them on flashcards and so many of those things came up in my exams and even though they're like simple things once you know them you know them and there were so many like couple of mark questions that were just based around those ideas and it was just brilliant so if you haven't already please go and subscribe to Primrose Kitten check out her channel she's going to be your saviour for science whether you're doing A level or GCC I know she's got maths videos and I've been looking at her website she's been updating it there's things for languages and geography now so do go check that out um, but yeah she's like the go-to for the science videos the other youtuber I watched um, for science was GCC science lessons like how could you not watch that guy I just remember us all sat around in silent study watching him because he was brilliant I absolutely loved his videos for the required practicals because he really did explain them very well and although like the description might be slightly different to what you're taught it's all the same thing and yeah his videos were just really in depth it was really nice to just be able to pause as you went along and wrote and like write things down but I mainly did use him for the required practicals just because we did have a book um, but when we did the practicals we didn't write it in that book so it was just really nice to actually have a method and be able to put that on flashcards just want to say for all these subjects I didn't just obviously rely on websites and videos and things like that. I did use my textbooks and my revision guides. Um, for English I used CGP and York Notes and for maths I just used, I didn't really, I didn't really use a textbook for maths but I did have like the Edexcel Pearson one, um, it was like the blue front cover and for sites again I had the CGP book and I also had Primrose Kitten's book like I mentioned so 
But yeah, that's quite what I had in terms of books. But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Let me know what other revision videos you want to see. Obviously, I'm doing my A-levels now. But if there are any um, broad GCC videos you'd like to see, then let me know. Obviously, I can't do subject-specific ones anymore. So I literally don't have any of that. I binned it on the 15th of June, which was great. But yeah, if you do have any more general videos, then please let me know. Like I said, the English video is coming next Saturday. So make sure to be here at 10am next Saturday to see that and I will see you all then. Bye!